Hey, good evening, YouTube. How's everybody doing out there in uh, YouTube land? Hi, my name is Timothy Chisholm. I'm an ambassador for Ashley Furniture Industries. And again, I'm coming to you with this uh, second video. Uh, first one I spoke about uh, the um, orientation onboarding process. I just kind of touched on a little information here and there. Just kind of give you an idea of what to expect if you decide to come on board and become an ambassador for Ashley uh, Furniture Industry. Uh, it's a very great opportunity for those of you who are looking to get to uh, uh, to get into the trucking industry, or if you're coming out of school or something like that. You know, Ashley is a good place for you to start out in, and you know, come get you some good training. And um, I think the standards are going to be set high once you come here. It's going to be hard for you to go somewhere else and work, and um, because they have a very high standard when it comes to their drivers and the hiring process, and just overall as them doing business. Or you may be an owner operator or someone that, uh, is, hey, the weight on your shoulder right now is just too heavy. Trust me, I understand. I used to be there. And you just want to get away from up under those uh, truck payments, those lease purchase program. Man, I know it's going to be tough. But, um, you know, them little checks you be getting now, man, it, it's just not working. It didn't work for me. And I decided to come on over to Asher Furniture. I'm glad I did. It's very... A uh, pleasant place to work. Staff are great. Equipment is great. I mean, the people are great, and they got the freight. I mean, keep in mind, we are the world largest furniture manufacturer and distri distributor. So, but not only do we make our furniture, but we also deliver it. We take it all the way to the customer's door. So, you know, we involve the whole process. So, they give us a uh, a lot to be proud of is give us uh, everybody work, you know, so we are moving and picking them up and dropping them. Again, I'm going to be speaking to you very briefly today. We're going to be talking about the um, the itinerary. Once you go through the, uh, uh, once you get your orientation information and once you talk to them about all the things that you need, you get qualified, background check, pass all that drug test. You, you guys know the typical stuff. Uh, then they're gonna shoot you from wherever you are to where you need to be and that's going to be in Arcadia, Wisconsin And I'm gonna tell you this is not no little uh, <laughs> Sweatshop uh, hotel or uh, you ain't gotta be bunking with no three people and riding on no 15 passenger van and none of that people I tell you when I tell you ask the furniture they do it. They do it right. They make you feel they make you feel special, people. Now, like I said, I may be sounding a little cheesy in these videos because I really am, man. I'm telling you, I am not exaggerating, but I do believe in giving props what props to do. <clears throat> and, of course, you know, I don't expect nothing to be always 100% perfect. So I, I look forward to there being some, you know, some bumps in the road. But I don't think it's nothing that we can't manage and overcome uh, as long as all heads uh, are, are, are cool. So, again, after you have gotten all your information, you have gotten... It turned in, and, and Melanie, she was the person that handled my uh, uh, recruiting. And then I think it was Stacy. Stacy is another person. Stacy Stewart, she handled my uh, itinerary. <laughs> Melanie stayed in the loop. And I mean, they just really communicated with me, man, the whole process. Now, I'm going to tell y'all something. I missed my flight there. I know, right? Your first day out, and I missed my flight. Well, uh, my wife and I, we have twins, and. Uh, and we had to drive to Memphis, and uh, it was just, I really didn't expect Memphis Airport to be that busy that early in the morning. But let me tell y'all, people, I got there minutes late. My plane had just closed the doors, and, and I was too late. I should have left a lot early, but hey, it just didn't work out that way. I got there fast as I could, so I missed my first flight. And it was a direct flight, too, you guys, straight from Memphis, straight to Wisconsin, right? <laughs> because I missed my flight. I had to wait. The uh, lady was very kind. She went in there and she looked and she found me another flight. But I had to do a transfer. So I had to go to Atlanta. Sit there for about four hours in Atlanta. And then I left from Atlanta on over to uh, to uh, 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 Minneapolis. And uh, so once, we, uh, once I got there, it was like almost uh, 10 o'clock. And then you got to actually drive. From there to the uh, hotel that you're going to be staying at once you get your rental car. So again, if you do decide to come on board, make sure you leave in an early enough to catch your flight. Don't be like me, y'all. I got there minutes to spare. I got through there and, and, and 
wasn't nothing I can do. But I did call uh, Melanie or, 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 or mess text, text her and inform her, let her know what was going on. And uh, I had already resolved it. She didn't have to go in, reschedule, and do nothing else. They just they just put me on a different flight. I got there in time enough to where I was able to uh, get to the hotel. Got checked in and make it to orientation on that 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 morning. But had I caught my flight, I'd have had that whole day, you know, to kind of get meet and greet some of the other students who were at the hotel that we were staying at. And, uh, you know, just kind of like relax a little bit. I was looking forward to that too, man, because I'll tell you, the hotel was very nice and everything. So, yeah. So, the first thing they're going to do is uh, you're going to get a, a, another email with outlining your itinerary. And it's going to tell you everything you need to know and everything you need to have. All I said is pack lightly. Uh, one bag, you know, hey, uh, number one, you're going to have to uh, have on some. Uh, khaki pants or blue jeans no sports shorts or sports you know uh jogging pants or nothing like that preferably a polo shirt you know something solid color you know they don't want you coming in there looking like you just came off the basketball court into the orientation you want you to be professional looking uh you can have some blue jeans shorts you know whatever that appropriate uh but you know uh closed shoes no open toe shoes nothing like that so you don't want to show up there in the, in the orientation you know with your feet all out and everything like that and shirt hanging all off you know i mean come on you guys you're gonna be have to make an a, a impression and you know you should always put your best foot forward so you know i know this is just this is elementary stuff be honest with you but but dress uh the par basically i just packed me a couple of pair of blue jeans and uh and and and, and a couple of shirts and you know and some you know you know, underclothes or whatever. And I don't like, I can wear the, you know, same pair of pants every day. Just change shirt if I need to, y'all. You know, a pair of black uh, Deacon's shorts. Or so, I mean, uh, Deacon's, Deacon's, Deacon's shorts or the um, pants. That would be preferred. That's what I actually am looking to buy here, you know, probably next week or whatever. Give me some Deacon's shorts, the black, and some and some uh, work pants to go with the uniform, you know. <laughs> Uniform, they they got some fly uniform by the way, y'all. I'm telling you, look at that. Ah, uh, look at their colors, man. Them colors, I like them colors. That orange and that right there. So you can get your name on them. But I didn't get my name on mine. I'm gonna tell you why. Because I didn't know how the shirt was going to fit, and you can't return them with your name on them. But I can return them without the name on there, and then get them put on. So now I know how these shirts fit, and what I'm gonna do is uh return these. Or uh, whenever I order some more, I know to get these sides with my name on. Cause you can get your name on that Tim, first name or whatever, not the last name, but your first name. That's pretty cool, man. And then again, they got uh, this one. They got oh, they have a lot of different kinds that you guys can pick from or girl that you all can choose from. And I'm gonna just show you what I have. The so mine came and my wife met me and brought me my uniform shirt. Hey, hey look at that. So you got the orange. Yeah. Orange, Nike. That's right, Nike. And they give you a voucher to get your uniform with. Uh, look here. I got the black polo, just all black with that on there. Nice. I got the two X. I think yeah. I got the um, yeah. I got the two X. And then I got my jacket. Rain, rainproof. Look at that. Y'all see it? Look at that. Look at that jacket. Nice. Uh oh. My bad. The jackets are cool. They got a lot of different kinds, man. So again, you get to pick out up to two hundred dollars worth of uh, a uniform clothing, and you get a voucher for that for something you know uniform every year. There's a certain amount allocated for that. All right. So again, uh, the itinerary. So you won't get that last email outlining everything that you got to do and what to bring. Because you got to pay for your bag. If the bag is too big to take on, too big if it's over a certain weight, you're going to have to pay. But you know that, right? So I packed the bag where I can carry both of them on. I'll show you. I packed my bag. Here it is right here. Uh-oh. Come here, bag. Come here, bag. Come here, bag. Uh, I just packed like the one I packed to bring on the road. Yep. Actually, this is the bag. You know, that's the one I had. And then, um, where's my other bag? 
And then this one. That's it. Those are the only two bags I had. And uh, <clears throat> and that's all I needed. I put them both on the plane with me. Now, they did uh, tag it because they had, they had got full in there, but they didn't charge me for it. They tagged it and put it on the, you know, on, on the cargo part. So that you most definitely want to make sure you, you know, just bring what you need. Look, no liquids. You can't be coming with a big old bottle of lotion or baby oil, powder on it. Everything needs to be travel side. Everybody know that. But I'm telling you, because you'd be surprised at the people who really don't think of it. And I did that, y'all. <laughs> I had an old time of knife in my uh, bag right here. And I ain't really think about it. I didn't know it until I actually got there. Because I made it through Memphis Airport. But I got ready to come home. I had to give it up. And let me tell you, it was just right in here. And and uh, it was a knife. And uh, so they helped my bag for the, you know, after they did the x-ray, they, you know, they pulled me to the side. I knew what it was going to be. You know, I just uh, didn't know it was, it was that serious, really. Old time parking night about that long. And she went through there. She said... It, you know, showed me what it was. I said, yeah. I wouldn't let that hold me. I said, man, just take it. Throw it away. Do what you got to do. And, you know, I, I really didn't know. You know, I forgot I had it. You know, I made it through the middle. I told her, I said, I just forgot I had it, really. And that was it. But uh, I left my knife there. So, again, you want to be mindful of those things when you get ready to uh, board the flight that, you know, uh, that you get, you know, you got to go through that screening. It, man, it's best, you know, you wear some, some comfortable stuff going. Of course, you can wear shorts or whatever you want to wear to go on, on the flight. Be comfortable, very minimal stuff in your pocket. That way you go straight through that bad boy. I had on them some 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 sketchy shoes. You slide in, slide right out of them, man. I ain't wearing nothing with no belt on it. I ain't wearing my pants. I put some short with the elasticity on there. It just it makes the flow go better. So again, that's at the airport. But you would get the email stating, you know, where you will be flying out at, and it all depends on where you're located. You know, you're gonna go to your you know, your international airport. You'll fly out of there on uh, on Monday, and you will arrive there on Monday night. <laughs> if you don't, if you don't miss your flight, okay? Don't do like I did and miss your flight. So you arrive there on uh, on Monday. Actually, you arrive there on Monday afternoon because it ain't gonna take you about three or four hours wherever you're flying from. It ain't gonna take you more than four hours to get there. And then once you get there, you go. Uh, 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 you're gonna go to. Uh, you gonna grab a rental car. They have all this stuff already made, set up for you, man. And you come out the airport, and you go to where you gonna be at, whether it's Hearst Enterprise, whatever one they using at that time. And you just go in there, man. They, they gonna have everything in there. You gonna have your uh, your reservation. Go out there, pick any car out there you want in this section. I was in the gold section, and one of my part here got a charger, man. I like, oh man, I want a one and uh, I mean, they have some really comfortable cars for you to drive because you're gonna have to drive. From the airport in uh, in Minnesota down to uh, 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 Wisconsin, and depending on where you're gonna be staying at in Wisconsin, I end up we stayed in Winona, I think that's where it's from, which that particular place was like 20 or 30 miles from Arcadia, which is where the corporate office is. But from the from from St. Paul, Minnesota, excuse me, y'all, from St. Paul, Minnesota to where our hotel is or was was like about 120 miles so you're looking at probably about two hour ride so once you flight go in you got to catch your rental car and you're going to drive it to your hotel and then you get to the hotel you go in there you check in and everything will be waiting on you the hotel is nice man i'm gonna tell you it's it is really nice it's a um it's one of the ones in the winham uh, uh chain winham hotel chain i think it was a days in uh very nice neighborhood food is around um it was quiet it was peaceful uh the staff were friendly uh they had awesome breakfast uh then they got an afternoon thing and then they got a little uh they got a little a lounge in their area too so i mean it's a nice setup man i mean you can really have you chilling it was really nice man i'm telling you and you know like i said i'm a little cheesy you know i just I like you know nice things and i recognize that when people do nice things you know it's to be recognized and uh, you know, they just didn't throw us up in no hotel no bed bugs and stuff like that i mean you got a room to yourself 
You don't have to be bunking with nobody. You ain't got to be, you know, nobody snoring in your room anyway. And all that different kind of noise. It's just you got your each person had their own room. Had their own rental car. And we all were coming from the same place, going to the same place. We pulling up 15 deep. Everybody got a rental car, but we pulled up on site at the uh, corporate office. Man, we rolled up in there, man, like the FBI. Boom, zoom, zoom, zoom. Well, we were just doing the thing. But they made it comfortable for you, for us. And they'll make it comfortable for you as well. And that says a lot, man. Because, again, they could have just put us all cramped up in a 15-passion van and two to a room and all that old crazy stuff. But they didn't do that, people. And I like that, man. They went over, but they went above and beyond to give us a good experience and orientation. That's why, I want, that's why I'm doing this. I wanted to share this with you guys because again, it, it shows me that they, they care. And I, and I feel the love as we walk through the facilities, man. I met guys that went working there for 20, 30 years. Young guy, man, straight out of high school. He's still young. He just, you know, um, he's the, uh, uh, um, uh, the, the, the manager of that, uh, of that uh, distribution center. Huge too, man. They gave us a tour of it. Uh, get to see the things that they're doing and how things are done. You know, um, and again, we got a chance to meet some good people. And like I said, they're very professional because they know how to be professional. You know, you know they could be having a bad day or whatever, but they were professional. They were nice. They was courteous. And like I said, I don't know about y'all. That means something to me. Yeah, I like that. I like people to take their job serious enough to be cordial, to be professional, to make you have a good experience. So yeah, that was pretty cool. So you get your rental car, you're gonna drive about two hours to the hotel, and then you gotta be at the uh, orientation site at eight o'clock. And mind, you gotta drive at least 30, maybe 45 minutes to get there from the hotel. So we'll make sure you get up early, leave. Get up, eat breakfast. Breakfast, you already know they start around six. So you get down there early, man. I had, I had waffles, they had eggs, they had sausage, they had bacon, they had uh, uh, bagels, pastries, they had uh, cereals, they had fruits, they had juice, they had salsa to go on top of the eggs and cheese. I was full even about that bad boy, y'all. So yeah, it was really nice, man. And that's like that every day, every day. You're there for, uh, you know, three days, and, and you most definitely going to get, you know, uh, that every day. Every morning, uh, again, the breakfast was good. Now, I have a rewards program with Wyndham. <laughs> it just so happened. I was able to collect my reward points from those rooms. So if you got a, a Wyndham rewards card, when you get there, let them know. And the guy looked up, found my account, so therefore I benefited again. So I gained... Another free couple of nights of uh, a free uh, hotel because they booked them in the same place that I actually, you know, used to stay a lot. And so I got a reward and I get vacations and stuff like that, you know. So, again, it just worked out well for me, you know. And, um, yeah, so then once you do, you drive on over <clears throat> about 30, 45 minutes to the uh, corporate office in Arcadia. And once you get there, 8 o'clock, boom, that's when the uh, orientation starts. And then, like I told you all in the earlier video, they're going to have people from different departments come by, and they're going to all do their uh, or, or presentation. You got questions, you can ask them. Uh, different personalities, but they all have the same spirit of professionalism, and then uh, they're friendly. You know, you get a chance to walk through the corporate office, and you get to meet all the people that you ought to probably talk to on the phone. You can put a face with a name. What is it? A name with a face? I don't know. But you gotta put them together. You can remember if you can remember <laughs> uh, who you talk to. And they are really some good people, man. And I'm gonna tell you, they got this uh, monument up in Arcadia, and they say it's the largest one, second largest one compared to the memorial in Washington D.C. And I'm telling you, they do this big ceremony. They got these things for the veterans. It's all for the veterans, man. They really show love to the veterans look veterans let me tell y'all something you're not gonna find no place that's gonna love you better than ashley furniture man they are they have donated this memorial uh 
park. It's a park, man. I mean, this place is huge. Over 60 some thousand people be coming to this thing. They do this thing every year. But it's year, it's, it's, it's available year round. Where well, you can go in and you can see the different monuments. They got the names and they get through the walkthrough. You get to see the statues and all. I mean, it is a beautiful sight to go and see, man. And they do it all for their veterans. And they are very active in the community, you know. And I know if you know anything about Ash, you probably already know what I'm telling you. But they're active in the community. They give back. They give back. Ash give back, man. I'm like, whoa, they really do give back to the community. So they put their money where their mouth are. Their mouth is. <laughs> so I like that, people. I'm telling you, I hadn't seen that kind of, um, I just haven't felt that kind of love from a big company, you know, in a long time. And for them to see them put it in action, you know, that just it just did make my heart good. So yeah, you're gonna get there and they're gonna come through, they're gonna do their spiel, <laughs> talk, you ask questions, and guess what? Got another caveat for you. They're gonna have lunch catered to you. Well, first day it was uh, you know, cold cut sandwiches, chips and stuff. They're like uh you get from Subway, turkey sandwiches and chips and a cookie and drink and you know, this all that, which was cool. <laughs> I had a good breakfast, so that was cool for me but they give you a menu to where you for the next day they order your food so you order whatever you want off the menu and you tell them how you want it and i'm gonna tell you the food that they brought in ah, mine was fresh it was hot when i say fresh hot fried everything was delicious man so they fed you and uh you know only problem with them was just trying to stay awake <laughs> You know how it is once you get through eating, man, you be ready to close your eyes. So uh, and I hadn't sit that long without, you know, in no classroom in a while. So, you know, everybody, you know, but we all did what we did needed to do to keep people entertained, keep them, you know, awake and to keep them involved and, 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 and to keep them, uh, uh, everybody kind of can play a role participating in it. And the facilitators were very good at that. They know how to keep you engaged. They know how to engage you. They can tell if you're getting bored and distant and, you know, and stuff like that. And they know how to engage you. You know what I'm telling These people, they really know what they're doing. And they're not, they didn't make no big deal about nothing. Hey, hey, you, you, you pay attention to that. No, they, but they want to make sure you learn that, you, you know, you're supposed to get what you're supposed to know because that's their job. But I tell you, man, they had a couple of person called it a spirit leader. And she really was a great spirit leader. I said, yeah, that's a, an awesome title to have, you know. So she the one that determined the spirit of the whole course. And she has a good spirit, people. Uh, man, I tell you, I can't remember them all by name. I'm going to have to write them down and come back. Because I want to be able to call them all by name, man. And I want to give them their flower, their prop. Because they, they did a wonderful job. And then once the um, orientation was over, uh, about 4 o'clock, yeah. So once that you're released, go back to your room. Uh, we went out down there. It's a restaurant down there. Oh, Jesus, what is the name of that restaurant? Oh man, it's like a pizza joint. But it's a guy from Puerto Rico, man. He in there cooking up all kind of dishes and stuff. So we just went up in there and he catered to us. This guy showed us some love. He cooked us some of his special food, special sauce special food and brought out some extra place for us to sample it and didn't even charge us for it man i thought that was pretty cool man so we sat there and, and had a few laughs and, and and ate and everything and then we all went to the uh you know some of the people hotels were within that area and, and the rest of us pretty much had to drive back to winona and then we all convoyed on back over to winona and got there, did everybody go their way, you know, um, you know, you know, you fellowship, you, you know, you sit outside, talk or whatever, uh, you know, you, whatever you want to do at that point, you're on your own time. That's just like being on your 10 hour break. And uh, like I said, I just went up there and, you know, I sit down and read all my material, talk to my wife and, you know, and just by that time, I'm ready to go to sleep. And, uh, and then we do it the next day, the same thing. Now on your on your last day, oh so yeah, once you also going to do a uh, a road test. If you don't get a road test taken before you leave uh, to go to Arcadia, you're going to do a road test. They're going to road test you with a 13 speed. I want to make sure I say this. And uh, people, don't let the red button fool you. All you got to do is not touch that red button until you you don't have to use that button until you really just on. Um, you finna put this some miles behind you finna put some mile markers in your back pocket you know what i'm saying you don't even be touching that little red because that's the only thing making it a 13 speed that little red button and people are getting tricked by it and they get the shifting and, and they just they can't it just throws them off so don't be tricked by the red button drive it like you would a nine speed or a 10 speed 
but don't worry about that red button okay don't worry about the red button the red button you flip it one time if you want to and you can flip it when you're in eight or nine and it, that's going to just put you like in an overdrive so don't worry about that but he's going to road test you to make sure that you can drive basically you know and uh cool guy man you get in there you're going to do a pre-trip so you go through that they're like you normally do a pre-trip they're like you're going to uh get your license you better be prepared to do it right you know what I'm saying? Because the guy, you know, he's going to make sure that you, you know what you're talking about. Well, he ain't going to say nothing, but he's going he gonna to let you do what you're supposed to do. And you just do what you know to do and you'll be all right. But if you have a problem driving a standard or whatever, let them know this. Don't give them the impression that you can do something that you cannot do or you, you, know, that, or you can drive something that you cannot drive. If what you need and want is automatic, you need to make that known. Look, I want automatic. I really can't drive so and so, so and so. Because once they cut you loose, they're going to cut you loose think, with the impression that you could drive whatever it is that you had came in and tested on. And, um, and uh, so you don't want to do that and then get frustrated and, um, and, and, you know, and, and want to throw in the towel because you get a truck that you really didn't want, but you really didn't tell them that you didn't want that truck and that you need to be driving automatic. Um, and I got new trucks coming in, so I don't know. They may have them, they may not. You know what I'm saying? But you should be able to drive it. If you if your license says it's uh, you don't have any restriction, then you should be able to drive it. And that's how they look at it. Okay. So again, you're gonna be road tested if you didn't get road tested before you leave. Road test ain't number. You know, just like it is when you go in and get your license. Pretty much the same. Gonna take you around the corner, up the street on the main road, turn around, come back bring you in you're gonna go to uh to the uh warehouse bag up to the dock pull out go back around park go in sign your paperwork showing that you completed the pre-trip that you that you drove you showing the abilities and the skills to operate commercial motor vehicle and you're gone you're done with that and they're going to give you your truck assignment and stuff before you leave you know the truck might not be there when you get there um but you're going to have a truck assignment because that did happen to me but it wasn't there when i got there because when i got back to my uh dc which is air crew they wanted me to actually they had a load that was ready to go and somebody fell off of it and i was they looked and i said heck yeah i'll take it we ain't got no truck right now but i'll take it and uh because i wanted to give them a good impression i was ready to go to work anyway and uh but my truck was on the road coming in and uh but it was there monday when i got ready to go and they had then all gotten it in and tested it out, cleaned it, had everything checked on it, and I was ready to roll Monday. Got my first load on Monday. Out of there, I've been rolling ever since. So yeah, so up until that third day, then you're gonna go back to your room on that on that Thursday. Now you're gonna catch a uh once you go on that Thursday. Now here's another thing that's pretty cool. Cause they got another hotel for you in St. Paul. Country and sweet, I remember that one. That's a pretty good chain line. Look, people, it's got an IHOP around it. It's got a cheat TGI Friday around it. It's got the biggest mall in the world across the street from it with the uh, Ferris wheels and stuff all on the inside. Look, people, I'm going to tell you, you are in, they put you right in the middle of where everything is going on, and it's a good area. And, you know, you get some good food and um you know uh you know drinks whatever you want to do you can do it right there i mean because you're going that's your last leg and then you'll be getting the flight in the morning the airport around the corner from where the hotel is so you got to go you know get ready to turn the car in the next day so anyway you're going to drive there that evening check into that hotel and that's where you'll stay till friday morning to catch a flight and of course everybody flight left out at different times and stuff like that but you know a few of us left out at the same time we actually about about four of us came back on the same flight because we were all coming back toward uh memphis tennessee so we all was on the same flight man and uh you know we just we had a good time man the experience was great we didn't have no problem um like i said the hotels were great uh good breakfast good food good people um uh, turn our rental cars in but look, I'm going to tell you you, you, you need to have enough time because <clears throat> in St. Paul, you're going to have to catch a train, shuttle train, like in Atlanta. You got to catch a shuttle train 
from the terminal terminal from the terminal to your uh to the car rental place and all that you know cab rides and so you got to do it coming back and you need to be there enough time because we kind of got twisted around but it was the train that we were supposed to take but it just seemed odd because when we came in we came in like it was on the ground but the train that was going back was on top we we're like uh we thought it was the uh <laughs> we thought it was the city train that was going to take us out into the city so we we went back up there but then we saw some pilots and we started talking to the pilots hey 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 ooh, ooh, ooh. we trying to go to the delta and they were too so we just followed the pilots and we were going in the right direction just follow the masses in that situation so again we had a great flight man the flight was good uh nobody cut up on the flight man you get to eat of course your little snacks on the plane and all that type of stuff so it, it was a great experience and so Again, people, my name is Timothy Chisholm. I'm an ambassador uh, with Ashley Furniture Industries. My employee number is uh, 196127. And uh, if you guys decide to reach out to Ashley and uh, you want to give it a try, please give them a call, man. You know, fill out an application. And one of the recruiters is going to get right back with you. Now, if you do me a solid favor, let them know that you, you know, if, you, if this video encouraged you, you know, help you make your decision, let them know that I referred you to them, okay? And uh, like I tell you, they don't have no no sign-on bonuses, but they have a referral fee that they will pay the drivers that are there just by spreading the word and trying to encourage people to come and be a part of something that we believe in. And I believe in them. I'm here. I'm enjoying what I do. Um, and, I, and I think you will, too, if you're a hard worker and you appreciate good quality things. And because they don't have a sign-on bonus, hey, I'm a cool guy, man. I'm real cool. So if you decide that you want to come on board, all you got to do is reach out to me. Again, my name is Timothy Chisholm. My email address is chismfavor at gmail.com. Phone number is 662-231-4998. Just call me. Say, hey, Tim, look, man, I'm getting ready to think. If you got any questions, comment. Oh, yes, also, you know, click subscribe button. Hit the notification button, and that way you can be updated. Because I'm gonna continue to post videos, uh, uh, not only about the orientation, but then I'm gonna go into uh, also talking about the loads and how things are being dispatched. And you know, open to keep you up to breast on on how my experience ha uh, was from the beginning up until the particular point where I am now. Because again, once you get in, you want to know, okay, you know, where you going, what you are doing, or if they're gonna keep you moving. And, uh, and I talk about that later in our next video. But again, this is the video here is talking about the itinerary or travel. And again, I know I'm not going to cover everything because I, I just have to. I'm just sharing my experience. I don't want to be like I'm actually doing orientation, but I just sharing with you all my experience. And I have had a wonderful experience, and I hope you have a wonderful experience too. Again, you can reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to answer whatever questions I can. Uh, 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 that you might have about Ashley again. I, I, I'm a new hire, so I don't know everything. I'm learning, but I do know the I do know trucking, and I know I know what it's supposed to be like, and I know what it ain't like. So I can most definitely, you know, um, give you some insight in that. And again, I want to be with you through the whole process. You know, you can call me if you got an issue, or uh, you know, just need some help or whatever. You know, got a question? I'd be more than happy to assist you. I'm an ambassador. An ambassador means that I represent Ashley Furniture. And I'm going to represent Ashley Furniture to the best of my ability because they represented themselves to the best of their ability to me. And again, you guys have a, and girls, have a blessed day. And always keep in mind, PMA, keep a positive mental attitude. God bless you. See you soon.